Hi there, I want to show you a project that demonstrates how evolution origin solids can model both pad stacking for leach pads as well as offloading of those same leach pads. So on the screen right now, I have the stack pads uh, represented for this operation, and I'm going to toggle on the offloading shapes. So if I toggle on these blue shapes, you can see that they overlap with the orange ones. The idea here is that in Vulcan, the leach pads for both stacking and offloading are represented by the same triangulations, but they are duplicated in the evolution origin solid setup so that we can model both filling them up and depleting them. So I'll go ahead and hide the stack pads now to show you just the offloading portion of those pads. So this operation has five separate pads that they're able to stack the footprints and then also deplete them and remove that material to use the special leach pad location to leach additional material. And what Evolution Origin Solids is able to do is with the combination of constraints and dependencies, we are able to model the sequence of that activity so that we don't schedule the same pad to offload and stack at the same time. So now I'm going to switch to a schedule result and let's reset that back to period zero. And here we can see that we're starting with just two of the five pads have material contained on them that needs to be offloaded during the life of the schedule. So those ones are represented by these blue shapes here at the start of the schedule. And now I'm going to step through by period and we're gonna see new material stack up that's colored on a spectrum for the period that it gets stacked in. But we're also going to see these blue shapes deplete representing them being offloaded. Okay, so as I step through, you can see that I'm building this pad to the east, but I'm also depleting the pad to the south. So getting ready to make room for future material to stack. I continue on to the next pad, and then I start to see that blue pad deplete, representing the offload. And now I continue stacking a pad furthest to the east, but now I'm stacking in the footprint that previously had material. So this is a result of those constraints and dependencies that ensure that material is not stacking and offloading in, within the same footprint at the same time. Okay, and now we've reached month 30, which is the length of this schedule, and we have stacked all of this new material on the pads, but we have also offloaded two of those five pads that started the schedule with material on them. Thank you for watching. Again, this was just a video explaining how pad stacking and pad offloading or in more general terms, multiple moves of the same material as it lends itself to your mining operation can be modeled with evolution origin solids. Thank you.